Hello people, um, today I'm doing a vase of um, chrysanthemums and just a, I just want to do a bushy full vase of flowers. Um, now to fit that into a, um, a painting this size, I'm going to have to be mindful of keeping the vase small and the flowers um, are going to be taking over here you could maybe even add more interest by putting the vase set it to one side and have the flowers but in fact let's do that let's do that for a change um so i'm going to just check the time it is 20 past three here in the uk and i'm going to mix myself some burnt sienna oh let me just show you my palette quickly um so I've loaded this up so that I don't have to um, refill because obviously I'm under time pressure here. So I've got Mars Black, French Ultramarine Blue, Burnt Sienna, Alizarin Crimson, Cadmium Red Deep Hue, Cadmium Red, Quinacrinone Magenta, Cadmium Yellow, Oxide Green, Naples Yellow and Titanium White. And the reason I have a lot of reds is because um, this is going to be um, a very pink, reddy, orangey floral arrangement, which is you know, my favourite and probably the most favourite of everyone. So I'm going to um, mix some Mars Black and some Burnt Sienna. By the way, I am going to um, format these paint these videos better as I go along. I will get some software so that I can put the palette in into the um, video as I go. But at the moment, um, I am not able to do that. I have a lot of things on at the moment and getting round to it is just proving a little bit difficult time-wise. I'm going to block the whole lot in with this colour. And if, you've, if any of you have watched my previous videos, you will know. Normally I use a tinted paper, uh, oil paper, but um, I've run out. So I've just of late been using this um, white paper and what I don't want is the white showing underneath um, uh, but I don't mind on the other hand streaks of um, colour where the paint isn't necessarily mixed in as well as it could be. I just like to loosen it up with a bit of oil also. Actually that's darker and I'm going to save my dark for down here because I have a feeling I'm going to have all the light coming this way. So I'm going to lighten this side up a bit. And by lightening, I'm just touching some titanium white straight into that there. And that gives some interest to the background. going to add a bit of Naples yellow to the um, mixture now to give me um, somewhere to put my vase and create some illusion of a table or surface for the vase to go on. Uh, but I'm going to keep it darker over this side where all the flower shade is going to be. Wait, am I going to do that? just finish off filling in those gaps there again I don't mind if the colors aren't quite matching it all adds to this kind of ambient, candlelit almost, soft focus feel and at the same time allows us to <clears throat> stay loose by giving that impression we can stay loose in this painting. So once again I'm just going to use this same brush the whole way through, just a cheapo from Amazon, um, depending on how dry it is, the bristles do split, but that can be quite useful when you're doing rough petals. 
in the vinyl stages when you want a bit of definition or a bit of texture. So, okay, there we have our background and we are four minutes in. So we are now going to, I've decided I'm going to put my bowl here and have the flow here because I don't want the most of the flowers to be in shadow. So I'm going to reverse it slightly and I'm just going to map that out with um, the same colour that I was using here. Um, we don't really paint, oil painting isn't really about drawing, it's it's more about mapping, mapping out um, shades and values and colours. Um, but you can, I do use, um, do a little bit of drawing with the colours that I'm using so that I can go over it and mute it later. But I just want it to, so that I can... just um, tell myself where everything is going to be. So we're going to have it, um, the flowers over that way. Okay, so the back of the vase, we're going to just go in and just let ourselves know where those, we're going to do, um, um, we're going to map in our values, we're going to block in our darks, give ourselves some form and dimension, try and create more three-dimensional feeling in the painting now by blocking in where all those darker areas are and I am actually going in loosely with some uh, black that is um, Mars black which has been just softened and loosened with um, refined linseed oil. Okay so um, I'm just going to put a touch of the green into the black now so that I can let myself know that some of this uh, value that I've added is in fact foliage. Okay, that's just, just really providing myself with a little key, a little map as to what I'm doing so that I don't forget when I come back to those areas. So now I'm going to mix in a bit of, um, I'm going to try and make um, with some alizarin crimson and a touch, a tiny touch of the Mars black. I'm going to map in some of the darker areas of the red flowers. Now these are extreme, these aren't like roses, they're very impressionistic. I'm also going to mix the same with cadmium red. I'm going to mix a darker version of the more orangey, warmer cadmium red and just remind myself that there are some little flecks of flowers in a, in a warmer colour. Um, just sitting behind and receding. The ones that are receding will not require that much attention in a painting like this, an impressionistic painting like this. And we have some just framing. Uh, let's have some there. Okay, so now I'm going to make a slightly darker orange. So I'm going to use the same cadmium red and I'm going to put a bit of cadmium yellow into that. And I'm going to grey it down with a bit of Mars black because we're starting with the darker values first on flower. So if we have a dark, if we have a, a, a yellowy orange, it's going to have the darker elements are going to be, we're going to use those as our foundation and then we can, we can lighten them up later. This is very impressionistic, this painting. These flowers uh, don't have um, a significant, they're kind of just a big bush of flowers. As long as we get the values right and the general impression of the petals, you know, we, we will be doing okay in the limited time that we have. So we're 10 minutes in, just under 10 minutes in. I'm gonna block a bit more in here and here. 
and I want a bit more, but I want that to be darker. Here, now the darker flowers are going to serve as a frame and relief to the lighter flowers, which are going to pop right out. So with the lighter flowers, we just need to work out the temperature. Are we going to go for a cool temperature or are we going to go warm? And that all really depends on where the um where the light is hitting the flower and what kind of light is hitting the flower so we're going to have some darker this is kind of on the cooler side of our pinks here we're going to have some pink flowers these are actually going to be quite light but we're trying to get now then we have a warmer flower let's put a warmer flower on the end where we've got more light here so we're going to add a bit more pink white and I like to add a touch of yellow just to warm that up and a touch of cadmium red deep hue okay and then we're going to gray it we're going to have to gray it also with the color that we just used here and we're going to pop that one maybe even a bunch of them there and the same we'll have one up here look facing the light there you can see already without any details and with a very faint painting you've got a map for the flowers and then we have a gray one here but it does also have some warmth there and then we can add if we want any more at a later stage so what i'm going to quickly do now because we we Oh, I am under time pressure. You, of course, are not. But I don't want my videos to drift and go on for hours. So I'm going to now start mapping in around these flowers because I don't want to map the leaves in after. So I've mixed a tiny touch of oxide green in with the Mars black. Not a lot because I'm doing my darkest bits first. And I'm just going to dab this on to give the impression of foliage going crazy behind these this is a big flower arrangement okay it's going crazy behind here it's a really full beautiful vase of flowers and then we're going to and i like to get the much, much of this as i can in now because so i'm going to go stage lighter with the green um because what I don't want to do is fit flowers around these leaves, uh, fit the leaves around the flowers after. Let's lighten this up a little bit so we can put a little bit of, and I've lightened it actually with the Naples yellow because they're slightly cooler. We're just putting fragments of colour, the odd definition of a leaf here or there maybe just a flash of yellow in the warmer areas break that up with my finger because I didn't like that um, little touch on the end there um, coming through a bit here I might not even go really much more into detail than that on the... We'll see because it's difficult to judge until the whole painting is done. Just going to put a bit more black because I know I'm going to want these flowers to pop out. So the black will give them a really nice frame. And let's just put a little bit more definition here. We restate all these darks later when we want to do that. But I'm going to concentrate on the flowers now because the flowers are the thing in this painting. And I'm going to put in a yellow flower, actually. And I'm going to just mix in with my cadmium orange and my Mars black mixture, which I already have on my palette. I'm just going to add there. I'm just going to add a touch more yellow because I'm going to have a yellow flower, I've decided, but 
it's obviously not going to be as dark so the base color is already lighter now i'm going to use that base color actually because it's perfect against the darker here i'm going to keep the paint fairly thick because it now has to sit on top of the thinner painting underneath and we're going to just come in and we're just going to pop some petals it's going to restate the dark on that actually it seems to have smudged off there okay and we're going to do the same over here we're going to go over the top and we're going to blend in we're just giving impressions now and these are receding so the detail is merely suggestive again are we going to go in here and suggest some depth to this flower here and we're going to make it slightly raggedy also and some of these some of these flowers are just almost just a blush behind the foliage and we're going to do the same over here in fact let's just add a touch of pink here just to um, and I do like this is quite a warm painting so the pink is going to be tempered with some cadmium yellow I'm just going to give the impression of a beautiful flower just popping in and out the foliage there I probably should have eaten before I started this painting as my belly is now going to rumble all the way through um, here uh, we want a bit more blue I think I want a bit more blue on this these flowers here let's grey it down put some black like so and that's bringing some extra dimension to these flowers here. Okay, we're 20 minutes in, so I am really going to struggle for time. So I'm really going to have to just move it. And now I'm going to just slightly clear my brush off, but I am just going to now add some smushy lighter petals here um, just to give some shape they're still going to be quite a blurred not not fantastic detail we will literally save that for the last few minutes and this one here is going to be pinker and we're not going to obscure the base colors the foundations that we've already put in we're going to leave those there what i want to know is how the hell does bob ross paint those huge landscapes in 30 minutes is it edited can somebody tell me that because i am struggling to uh, keep to a 30 minute format which is nothing to do with bob ross i just decided to do it myself and um <laughs> sort of have been regretting it ever since but i did think well if bob ross can paint a landscape in 30 minutes i can definitely paint a floral in 30 minutes but maybe he had a slight help maybe there was some editing done i don't know i, I was under the impression they were all live but so now i'm going to finish off because we are running short of time uh, by putting in the final highlights uh, which just indicate which way the petals are going now because all these flowers are bunched up we don't need to worry about that too much and we, I'm just using the corner of the brush and I'm really putting this paint on lightly because I don't want to obscure my foundation that I've already put on I'm 
we're almost this is almost just like dressing it's like putting on the jewelry when you've got your beautiful outfit on you're just now going to put on your jewelry and touch of mascara or something like that you know you know what I mean you still it still looked great before um but you just it's just finishing touches odd odd thing for me to say because I don't actually wear any jewelry I'm not super keen on it I used to wear it when I was younger um so I'm just going to quickly go in now. I've got um, eight minutes and I want to, I will really want to get some work done on this um, vase, some stems in there. It's a glass vase, so. So I want some light catching here and, and I want some sort of sense of sheen in the glass and some you know reflective colors and just it's just a and then i'm going to put on a flash of um what do you call it <laughs> highlight and sometimes if you tint that with a bit of blue it can almost look whiter and then finish with a real sort of bigger one there and then we've got a little bit of light catching here where the neck goes round and here where the base is slightly thicker the glass so we can put a little highlight maybe there there it helps us give some shape we don't want it too big we want it to be quite subtle And a bit of negative painting around the other side of the vase will also help. Providing I don't have any white on my... Mm. And then we're going to add some, just a touch of maybe a bit of definition like a line to that leaf. Um, of course, this is now, we're at the stage now where you can go as as as, as um, detailed as you like. We've done everything we need to do um, to map in this painting and give it some life. Um, now it's up to you um, to take, um, I've got five minutes left, to try and work out what I think are the most crucial parts of this painting that will just just for um, the eye to work out what it's looking at. You, of course, can go in <clears throat> now and spend as long as you like adding details and textures and refining some of the flowers or leaves um, as you like. I'm going to refine a few more in the last few minutes that I have left. because why not so i'm going to go in with some nice creamy highlights i'm going to add some naples yellow to some cadmium yellow and i'm going to add to that a little bit of white and i've got this nice creamy yellow highlight now for these yellow flowers over here and i'm just raggedly placing the petals on like so and I might just also go in slightly darker here and mush that in with my finger so that we have slightly more drama in there like so and we can do the same with the other flowers here petals go right through to the center but you as you don't want to you don't want to um obscure the darkness um at the same time as adding the the highlights otherwise you obviously lose the depth i want a slightly richer center here 
and that gives the flower um, a more forward facing sort of feel. Like so. Okay, and let's add just a touch more highlight over here and we're keeping the paint a little dry now because it helps add some sort of raggedy, helps the highlights catch, add some really nice raggedy petal details. And we're gonna just put another suggestion of a flower up here for balance. We need to add some here, some highlights here as the eye is getting lost a little bit over here. So we're going to give the eye something to make sense of this area. Here. And some more red. We can add some cadmium red now here onto these darker reds. And you see they're just they're just almost nothing, uh, what I'm adding, but because you've added the values um, the, and the temperature, you've got this kind of painting that is almost just an illusion. I mean, well, all paintings are an illusion, basically. Um, I'm gonna go back in and do a little bit more work on the glass here. Um, restating some of the darks under here and around here. So you can do a bit of negative painting around your flowers now, around your certain leaves to give that kind of sense of, you know, it's it, there is something there with a form. Just adding a, almost like a touch of a stem into there. Um, we could even, you know, why not? Let's, let's, um, how long have we got left? I've got one minute left. And so I'm going to add some petals. Look, they just fell off. And then that gives you the eye, that little bit of extra interest. And when you add anything like that, you need to just subtly refer to a very delicate shadow. I wasn't very good one, was it? You can always go over it. That these will create, even if you wanted to fuss, you could put a little bit of darker pink just to break them up, add a little bit more interest. There, so um, that's it pretty much. We're out of time. That's the video. Now, obviously you can go and fiddle and you can you can start this painting and you can say okay I like that but I want a bit more detail and you would you know be perfectly right to do that um, th but this is merely a foundation for your painting skills um, for you to you know work on and enjoy and build on um, I think what happens is if you watch um, sometimes you can watch artists who seem to not know what they're doing you can watch artists who really do know what they're doing but because they're so advanced you 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 can't you can't break down what you need to be doing to get there so um um that's what these tutorials are sort of to help you with these are the building blocks basically of a painting um that anybody can do and enjoy and um and that's what I hope, you know, I'm helping you with. So anyhow, there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I hope you will watch some of my other videos um, on how to paint a vase of flowers. I do roses. I've done a speciality one on roses. Um, and I mean, I've, I've got everything. I've got hydrangeas um, and I've got sunflowers and loads more paintings to come. So all that remains for me to say is, um, you know, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave some comments about what you would like to see 
um, like, um, click the notification button so you know when I'm uploading my next video um, and you can paint along with me. And um, yeah, just um, share with your friends, like and subscribe and I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.